Here's another really easy to use feature in 90 Second Website Builder. It used to be that to add a Google Map to your website, you had to go to the Google Maps website, get some code, come back and paste it in, which isn't too bad. But now it's even easier than that in version 10 of 90 Second Website Builder because in the ready to use JavaScripts, which you'll find here under the advanced category, again, it's not advanced in, as far as being difficult, it's advanced in what it does. Very easy to do, actually. So I'm going to click on Ready to Use JavaScripts, just draw a box, and find the Google Map tool. Now, there's a couple of them. There's the regular Google Maps, and then there's the static map. The static map is simply a map that won't move. It's just a simple, like a single shot of the um, location you want to show. Most people are going to want to use the Google Maps so that the end user can zoom in and zoom out and have some more features. So we'll make the Google Maps uh, in this particular video tutorial. But you can play with the Google Static Maps if you want. It's just simpler. But for Google Maps, we just simply choose that and then give it our settings. So I'm going to put an address in here. And then I can decide on how big I want this map to be. And we'll just leave it at 330 by 440. The zoom is the zoom level. And usually you want that to be zoomed in oh, at about 15. And again, you can experiment with that and see what you want that to be. I'm going to have it be 15. I want the user to be able to zoom in and control that. So I'll leave that at true. I'm going to leave these controls at false for now so you can show you what they do. So all I've done is I've given it an address. I've set the zoom level. I'm going to click OK. And I'm actually done with my Google Map. If I click F5, you can see that my map appears on my website. And it does have this zooming control for the user. And because it's not a static map, they can actually scroll around or drag around, I should say, the map and look at other surrounding areas. They're just basically using the Google Map application. And so it's that simple. So let's change this up a little bit and add a few more features. I'm going to double click and look at the settings again. This time I'm going to give them map control by setting these to true. Give them street view if they want to use that. And again, I click OK. We'll preview by clicking F5, and now you can see that my Google Map has a few more functions. They can click on this and do a street view. Uh, they can change the way the map looks. Right now it's on map. They can change it to satellite and take off the labels if they want to. Change it back to map and add terrain, and it does all of those functions. Adding a Google Map couldn't be easier, and using the ready-to-use JavaScript and 90-second website builder makes it super simple. Just know the address you want to add, and you're good to go.